Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are taking a look at Rust Kits. As you can see on your screen, the Kits plugin allows you to create a specific kit that people can then claim in game. We can also configure it in a way so only players in a specific group can claim a specific kit. In this tutorial, we will first look at the Kits plugin and create our first kit and look at how we can claim that kit. We will then look at permissions. This is how we can dictate who can claim those kits. We will first create a group and make sure that only players in that group can claim the kit. We will then use Tabax to move a player to that group once a package has been claimed or purchased. This is the most flexible way of configuring kits. This also perfectly ties into our last tutorial showing the best way of offering a package in Rust through Tabax. You can find the link to that video in the description, including all the links that will be used in this tutorial. I will be using the free Rust Kits plugin from Umod, but there are several different options. I would recommend taking a look at the different plugins features and decide what plugin fits you best. We will also use the permissions manager by Stein Amaru from Codefling. I am using Carbon on my server, but to keep everything universal between Umod and Carbon, I will be using the Permissions Manager plugin. There are also paid kits plugins with even more features. If that is something you need, that is also possible. The same creator from the paid kits plugin also has a shop plugin that works with the paid kits plugin. And as you can see, these kits plugins usually work with a lot of different plugins. Using more plugins together with the kits plugins, you can create some really intriguing kits to claim for your players. There's also a free shop plugin that has a graphical user interface. Today, we will only focus on the basics of the Kits plugin and how to use it in combination with Tabax. The Rust Kits plugin that we are using depends on the image library. So we also need to have this on our server. As you can see, I have all three plugins installed in my plugins folder, Kits, Permissions Manager, and also the image library that it needs. I also have Tabax installed and also connected to my Tabax store. If you haven't done that yet, take a look at the video linked in the description. Sign our test, we can ignore, we will not be using that in this tutorial. So taking a look at the documentation or the page from the plugin, we can see there are several chat commands, admin commands, and also admin console commands. It even has a description on how to create a kit and also what all of these settings are. So I will just run you through the main process so you can see what it looks like in game. Let's first of all, open up the permissions manager by doing slash perms. If you don't see this menu, you might not be admin yet. Make sure you are admin first. If you're not admin, go to your server console, type in owner ID, and then type in your Steam ID. So just type in the number, whatever your Steam ID is, and then press enter. The easiest way to find out your Steam ID is just by joining the server. It will tell you your IP address. For me, it's local IP, since I'm hosting the server locally. Port, and then it will tell you your Steam ID. So we can copy this, just type in owner ID with the Steam ID, and then press enter. But we cannot type, so let's try again. <laughs> owner ID based and then enter. And as you can see, it says we are already owner because I've already done this before. Make sure you are owner first, then join the server. And if you don't want to keep doing that, type in write CFG, and this will save the config file saying that you are admin. So now you don't have to give yourself admin every time you restart the server. Make sure you're admin, join the server, and then try to open up the permissions manager. Let's do it again, slash perms. Then let's go to all groups, I already have a VIP group. Let's ignore that for now. Let's go to admin because I am admin. Let's go to kits and then let's grant ourselves the admin permission for the kits plugin. So now me and anybody that is admin has permission to go into admin for the kits. I don't think I need anything else. Permissions manager, no, we're fine. So let's do slash kit and then let's create a new kit because there currently are no kits available. Before we fill in all this information, you can see here we have items on the right. How do we get these items in here? The easiest way is just to copy from inventory. You can see that our belt items, our wear items, and also our main items will be copied from whatever we have on our player. Let's first of all get all the items that we need. So I'm going to press F1, go to items, and then I'm going to spawn in a specific kit that I want to create. We have the clothing, we have the belt items, and we have our main items. I'm gonna throw this away. So just let's do a stack of 32 arrows. Let's do slash kit again. Let's create a kit. And now if we copy from our inventory, this looks a lot more like a kit we would offer. So let's go over the simple information. We gave it a name, a description. Optionally, we can give it a icon URL. I left this empty for now. 
The permission is what we are going to use to dictate who can claim this package. This is very powerful and this is also what we will be using and demonstrating in this tutorial. We can set a auth level. For example, any owner or admin has auth level number two. If we set this to auth level number two, only administrators can claim this package. We can also hide the package, but both of those things are not something we want in this example. I set a cooldown of 600 seconds, so every 10 minutes. I left maximum users empty and also I didn't set a purchase cost. We are also not using any copy and paste, so I also left that empty. Let's see if we can save this kit. Yes, we can. Now, if we go back, we can see that we have the kit over here. We didn't set a icon. I wanted to show you that there are default icons. Let's go back. Let's first of all create a group. I'm opening up the control panel and then under permissions, we can go to groups, add a new group, and then we can fill in this information. For example, call it VIP. That's exactly what I did over here. I already created that VIP group. If you're using Oxide, you can still create a group, but you have to use commands. I will link to the page with the proper commands in the video description. We can do it through that same menu, but let's open up the permissions manager for everybody that is using Oxide. Let's go to groups. Let's open up the VIP group we just created. And then under kits, we should have that VIP one option, as you can see. So let's grant that permission to the group. So now anybody that is inside of the VIP group should be able to claim the package. Let's test this first. I am currently still admin, so I'm going to remove myself as a admin. Let's first of all go to me as a player. Let's go to groups and we can see that I am inside of the VIP group. Let's remove that. So currently I'm not in the VIP group anymore. And then let's also remove ourselves as a admin. Remove owner. Let's copy my Steam ID, paste it in here. So remove owner and then my Steam ID. And it has removed ourselves as a owner. So now we just need to disconnect. I'm just going to do kick and then I'm going to reconnect. Oh, I said I'm going to reconnect. And now it should also say that we don't have auth level two. So we are not admin. If we are admin, it overrules some of the permissions that we have. So we cannot properly test if everything is working as intended from the player's point of view. So we are back. And as you can see, there are no kits available because we don't have that permission. So let's add ourselves to the group and see if it is available. Let's go to the console. Let's do c.usergroup. We're going to add myself to the group VIP. And now if we do slash kit, you can see the Tabex VIP group is available and I can actually redeem it. We will have double, but as you can see, I'm not admin. And with the proper permission, I can claim that kit. Now we can use Tabex to move and optionally remove a player from that group once a package has been claimed or purchased. We already know the correct command because we just used it. So let's copy this command and then let's move over to Tabex. Back on Tabex, under packages, we are creating a new package. We fill in the basic information. If this is a real package, please always make sure you have a proper description. It is super important that the customer always knows exactly what they are getting when they claim or purchase a package. This is way too minimal, but since this is a demonstration, I'm going to ignore it for now. The most important thing for now is the game commands. We are already connected to my server. If you haven't done this yet, take a look in the description. There will be a tutorial showing you exactly how to do this. And then I've added three commands. Two are being ran when the package is purchased and one when the package is removed. We can see the exact same command that we just used. We're going to say carbon user group. We're going to add a player. We are then going to say who we want to add. Since we are using Tabex, we are going to use the username variable. And this will get the Steam ID from whoever is logged into our Tabex web store. We are going to take that Steam ID, replace it with this username variable, and then we're going to add that Steam ID to the VIP group or of course, whatever you named your group in game. I'm also going to say we ran the command from Tabex inside of the chat. This is just as a demonstration for this tutorial. We also have a different command. This is ran when the package is removed. Removing a package is optional. And after one month, we want the player to be removed from the group so it doesn't have any of the permissions attached to the group. We do this with exactly the same command, but instead of adding to the group, we are removing from the group. So let's update this package, or in your case, probably save the package. Then let's go to payments and let's make a test payment. We're going to need our Steam ID again. Paste that in here. Select the package that we want, and then let's click on create. So I'm quickly going to see that user group, remove, paste my Steam ID, and then VIP. 
So now I am removed from the VIP group. And there we are, server Randy command. Oh, we cannot see it. Randy command from Tabex. So let's try again, slash kit. Oh, slash kit. And there we go. We are back in the group. We can see the kit and we can redeem it. This is how we can set up kits, dictate who can claim those kits, attach a kit to a specific group, and also move and remove players from that group using Tabex. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.